Hey guys, welcome to Vancouver, Canada. So the word Canada comes from a native word Kanata that means small village or, or settlement. They were not aware of how big the place was back then. I'm sure you've already seen the Canadian flag, red, white with a maple leaf in the middle. The red stands for the blood for both of the world war. The white in the middle, it's for the peace and tranquility of the country. And the maple leaf, it's a national symbol for a very long time already. Canada is home to almost 38 million people. Um, last year was 37 points something, now in 2020. They think it's already around uh, 38 million. 10 million square kilometers is the second just behind Russia. So it's a pretty empty place. It's huge, but not a lot of people living in here. So the average only four people per square kilometer against Brazil where I'm from, it's 25 and other countries. So with all this space and not a lot of people, Canada has a very good uh, immigration program. They wanna bring more than a million immigrants in the next few years to help the economy recover from coronavirus. So Canada is a very open place. They need new people. They need a qualified workforce. It's easy to, to get your residency and all of that. English and French are both official languages here in Canada. French is spoken in other places. In British Columbia, it's uh, English. They do learn French in the school, especially if it's a um, French school, of course. In Vancouver, you do not need French. English is your, it's the true go language for everybody. Canada is surrounded by three oceans, Atlantic, Arctic, and the Pacific. It has over 200,000 kilometers in coast, the biggest coast area in the planet. Canada has six time zones. Canada's capital is Ottawa. It's pretty far from here. You can actually walk from Vancouver all across Canada. There's a trail that starts in, uh, in Victoria, if I'm not wrong and it just goes all the way. It's gonna take you over two years walking 30 kilometers a day, but it's doable. The biggest border in the world is between Canada and the US, right here to the south of Vancouver. Uh, actually, over 80% of Canada's population live within 160 kilometers from the border. We're very far from the equator. It's pretty cold in here, so everyone is to the south of the country. But to the north, it's just way too cold. And it's not nice. <laughs> so sometimes when I'm flying, we end up crossing the border, especially when we take off from Boundary Bay or Abbotsford. Beautiful blue line right here is the border. Vancouver downtown is here. Boundary Bay and Abbotsford Airport, they're both very close to the border. The country being this big with this much of snow and all, it has a lot of fresh water. Almost 3 million lakes in Canada. 60% of all the lakes in the planet are in Canada. 30% of all the fresh water is in Canada. 60% of polar bears are Canadian. 40% of the country is covered by forest. 10% of the forests in the planet are in Canada. There's not a lot of diversities in trees, but there's a lot of trees. As I mentioned before, parts of Canada speak French. Quebec, for example, they use their own flag. They want it to be their own country, but they're still part of Canada. We, we do not have a president in Canada. We have a prime minister and the queen is Elizabeth, same queen as England. By the way, you use her in our money. Let me show you guys. So yeah, Queen. Mining is one of Canada's biggest business. They, they have a lot of gold, silver, nickel, and copper. Three thirds of the nickel on the planet are from one mine in Manitoba. It's a huge business. And they're also the third biggest name in the oil industry, just behind Saudi Arabia and Venezuela. Vancouver is a coastal city. We have a huge port. We have a big traffic of cargo ships in and out. Education in Canada is very good. They have over 99% of the population that can write and read. Canada and Vancouver were both elected one of the best places to live in the planet. Uh, Vancouver has been named one of the best cities to move to. But as any place in the planet, we do have our problems here. Vancouver has a big number of homeless people, um, also drug abuse. Uh, just so you have an idea, we had more overdoses than coronavirus deaths this year. People don't really talk about before they come. They don't really think Canada has this kind of problems, but it's here. They, the government tries to help as they can. They give support. They put doctors to work on the streets. 
So instead of arresting users, they try to take care and treat users. In the official Canada's website, they give you information and graph about everything, any social economical problem they might have, the war on drugs or anything you can find there. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to take a look. Canada doesn't have an official religion. The religion doesn't affect the government or, or anything or any decisions like that. The cost of living in Canada is pretty high, especially in Vancouver. We are trapped. We have mountains passing on the north of the city that end up in a valley. We have the border to the south of us and we're by the sea. So there's not a lot of space to run to. Rent and housing pricing can be crazy expensive. Also transportation is pretty pricey. Um, public transportation is very good and it's always on time but if you want to have your own car or motorcycle the insurance can be super expensive. The most popular sport in Canada is hockey. Basketball was invented here in Canada if you didn't know. Here to the north of Vancouver, British Columbia in general, we have a lot of mountains. A couple days ago I flew to Pemberton and Garibaldi uh, with my instructor and then I did some solo flights around there and it's just amazing the amount of mountains and lakes you have everywhere it's the, the nature in Canada is insane it's super beautiful Canada has four very distinctive seasons spring is very colorful full of flowers summer is very green and warm fall is very red and orange all the streets close to here are changing colors the leaves are falling it's pretty beautiful as well and winter is when the snow comes everything turns to white in Vancouver itself, it doesn't snow that much, but maybe for one or two weeks we have some snowfall in the city. It's pretty good as well. Another thing that the mountains to the north of Vancouver brings other than high prices in the housing market and the beautiful scenery is that it rains a lot. Vancouver is a coastal city, so all the humidity from the Pacific Ocean hits those mountains and it just rains a lot. It rains basically for the entire winter. It's always drizzling non-stop. So that can be very depressing, especially with the sun setting before 5 p.m. If you're, if you're coming from a tropical place with 14 hours sunlight, eh, you're gonna feel it. If you're coming to Vancouver, make sure you take a vitamins to replace the lack of sun. Vancouver is extremely diverse. It has a lot of groups from different countries. As I said, they're very open for immigrants, so everywhere you go, every neighborhood has a different look to it, a different group of people living in. That's something very nice to live in a place that's this diverse. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll keep posting videos in English from now on, sharing how my flight training is going. I'll take the camera with me when I'm flying around BC. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe and leave a like on your way out. And that's it. Thank you so much. See you next time. Sure.